Hey y'all. Hey y'all. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? It's your girl Kim, aka the Joy Kim, is back with another episode. Chemically balanced. What is chemically balanced? I don't know. I still don't know. But that's all right. Because the Lord is going to reveal it to me when it's time to reveal it. But until then, guess what? We're going to continue to be obedient. Right? Right. So listen, what has been on my heart, on the agenda for this episode? Whew, Lord, help us. It's, it's, a, it's a little deep. It's a little deep, this one. And I've been thinking about this for um, the last couple weeks here. But I'm like, man, it's a, it's a lot of people that's still, that's really angry. It's, people are just so mad, y'all. People are just so upset and people are so angry. And I'm like, what y'all mad about? What's up? What's, what's going on? You want to argue. I ain't arguing with you. You mad. Ain't nobody arguing with you. No. Why? <laughs> Why? What's going on? And it got me to thinking. All right. Listen, we, we, we got to talk about some stuff. So listen, God, I'm, let me pray real quick because I, I feel like I need additional prayer on top of this. I prayed already before, before I hit the record button. We're going to hit this again. Father, in the name of Jesus, listen, I need you to cancel every spirit of offense. I ask you to open these people's hearts and their ears to receive what it is that you have me to say to them. And that's it. That's all, God, because, you know, you know what's going on. And you know, I experienced this too. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus name, God, I thank you. We love you. We honor you. Listen, okay. So just hear me out. Just hear me out. Just, 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 just don't, don't click off. Hold on, hold on. Pause your fingers. Pause your fingers. Don't hit the button. Just hear me out. Okay. So I've been thinking, um, so people are angry. People are angry. And we don't know what's going on with people. But it got me to thinking and I kind of went down a bunny trail. And I I, I, I was led to basically to the conclusion that there are a lot of people that are responding in a way that they are, they are, I don't want to say comfortable because comfortable is not the correct word and I don't want to say stuck so what okay dwelling I'll, I'll say dwelling people are dwelling um they're dwelling and they're operating from a sense of their trauma Kim what do you mean by that I'm glad you asked girl I'm gonna tell you what I mean by that is everybody has been through a whole bunch of crap right everybody has been through a whole bunch of stuff these last few years have been off the hook we didn't know what was coming at us we didn't know what was going on all we know was that the earth done shut down the whole world done shut down and we couldn't go nowhere we couldn't do nothing we was in our house the kids wouldn't go into school uh your people was out here tripping off toilet paper uh, like they didn't have no other way to wipe their behinds or clean their behinds, but I digress. Like everything was just like, what's going on? And it caused a lot of us to really go into survival mode. Like y'all, y'all know fight or flight, right? Go into survival mode. All right, listen, we going into survival mode. We going to um, shut off our emotions. We going to be hard because we we gonna we gonna preserve whatever we can to preserve for ourselves we're gonna keep it right here we're gonna keep it right here in the middle of what we got going on we don't have enough to really share with nobody i can't be around nobody because you never know what's gonna happen if i'm gonna pick up something from somebody we don't know so all we knew how to do was to to contain everything within ourselves and keep our emotions to ourselves right and what does that cause you to do? Cause you to be hard. You you attempt to not let anything get to you because you don't want to look quote unquote weak. You don't want to quote unquote 
huh? Did this car just hit a U in the middle of the road? Y'all brave out here in these streets. Let me tell y'all. I'm I'm in the DJ booth, aka my my vehicle, my truck. Um, so I'm gonna keep this in here. I don't care. I'm not editing it out. Anywho, but this 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 car just flipped the UE right in the middle of the road, and yo, they got gusto. Anyway, um, what was I saying, Kim? Kim, what were you saying, girl? What was you saying? See, this is why you be having them squirrel moments, and you got to keep it together. You got to stay focused, girl. What was you saying? Oh. This is what I was saying. So, um, everybody has been on survival mode. Now, that has been packed on top of the other things that we've already experienced, traumas, traumas we've experienced, stressors we've experienced that some of us haven't been releasing, letting go, going to therapy to get it off of our chest, get it off of our shoulders. So to pack in a, a pandemic on top of that, down this pandemic, you locked up in the house with your family um, or whoever you might have been locked up with. Um, and y'all, y'all was y'all was about to lose it on each other. Y'all was about to just let it rip, let it rip and ready to take each other out because y'all getting sick of each other. Unfortunately, there were a lot of marriages and relationships that suffered and have dissolved um on the flip side there are a lot of uh, relationships that have gotten stronger a lot of marriages that have gotten stronger but we're talking about the um the 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 previous option here um and so it was just, it's just been a lot of chaos a lot of confusion among other things that's going on so we've all been we a lot of us have been operating from a place of trauma and so now when it's like okay you know the world is breathing a little bit more now it's not it's not as stuffed up it's, it's breathing a little bit more and things are getting a little lax with the lockdowns and everything and such people still have the mentality of kind of how we were when we all was on lockdown and you can't really go to a restaurant you can't really go to the store you can't really go to the store. You can pe people out here, people and people got attitudes. People have attitudes over the smallest things. I don't know if y'all y'all know this, but you can't go to a restaurant or nothing. A lot of these people, a lot of these waiters, um, they're they're not as friendly as they used to be, you know. And even going through drive-throughs, they don't even say hello. How are you? How can I help you? They don't say have a good day thank you for choosing whoever nobody says hello it, 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 it there's no more manners anymore they just going out the window and i'm like what listen i understand i i i don't know exactly what your situation has been or what you have gone through but i acknowledge what you have gone through i acknowledge your feelings but at some point at some point we're gonna have to crawl out of these holes that we've been in at some point we're going to have to crawl out of the trauma that we've been dwelling in at some point we're gonna have to crawl out of the stress that we have been under at some point we have to do something different because the stuff that we have been doing we've been on survival mode and we're not built to to live our lives on survival mode there becomes a breakdown after a while and so at what point are we gonna stop living our lives on survival mode? At what point are we going to stop and take a moment and slow down to realize I can't keep on like this. I cannot continue to operate in my daily, everyday, day-to-day -day life as if I'm on survive, survival mode that does something to, to your brain and your emotions and your body to be on 10 all the time to be on guard all the time to be you, causes you to be paranoid it causes anxiety it causes so many other things so when is it that we're gonna take the time to really unpack this stuff that happened 
and to dial it back and slow down and say, look, I can't keep moving on like this. I got to check in with me first. Check in with ourselves to make sure we good before we try to go out here and do anything else. And I think, I, I honestly think if, if we could slow down and, and actually open our eyes and see, hold on. I've been operating on survival mode this whole time. I can't do this. It will be it will be a lot less happenings going on. It will be a lot less chaos going on. And I know there are just some specific barriers to to life that it's just it's out of your control. But the things that you can start to take hold of and to start working on. Maybe we all should do that. Now, look, I, I've gone through this myself already, and I actually I actually took inventory of what was going on with me even before the pandemic, because I was getting to the point where I felt like, hey, I'm losing it. I, I can't get a grip. I cannot get on a grip. I feel like I'm just out here surviving. I'm not thriving and I am not living. I am existing. I am doing and I'm not being. I'll say that again. I was doing and I was not being. And being is in our DNA. For goodness sakes, we're called human beings. We're supposed to be. And there are a lot of us that haven't had the tools to learn how to be. And there are some tools that some new tools that I had to learn now in my current life so I can learn and work to be instead of do all the time. I'm so used to seeing do, 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 <laughs> do, do. <laughs> I'm so, that's so mature. Anyway, I'm so used to seeing do, do, do. <laughs> so I know, listen, if you haven't listened to me before, if you're just now meeting me, hello, how are you? Again, my name is Kim, AKA the Joy Chemist. I am not serious all the time. And this is probably the most serious I've been <laughs> recording these episodes. And I'm just like, listen, it's going to come out. It's going to come out at some point in time. You have to learn how to laugh. You have to know how to not take yourself so serious. You have to learn how to laugh and you have to be okay with that. And I'm standing up in my truth. I am cool with that. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I know that's not the song, but whatever. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with the random moments because it just makes up me. Anyway, we, we, no, we gotta go here. When are we gonna laugh again? That's a good segue. When are we going to laugh again? When are people, are? when are we gonna stop taking everything so seriously all the time when are we gonna stop being on defense mode when's the last time you got your seven laughs in your seven minutes and your seven laughs in and i'm not talking about a little <laughs> oh that's so funny no i'm talking about a laugh where your mouth is open yes i said mouth with a f not a th a f your mouth is open and you showing all them pearly whites or if they ain't pearly whites, they might be off white. If you ain't got none, when's the last time you showed them gums off? I don't care if you got them or not, but it, it, people need to laugh. Where is the joy? He says in the word, the joy of the Lord is our strength. You know what? And you know what? My favorite scripture. Cause I, I say the joy of the Lord is my superpower. That's uh, that's honestly one of my superpowers. I love laughing. It's one of my all time favorite things to do. I come from a family that that's all we do is laugh. And it, it's crazy because, you know, we can not see each other for a long time, but as soon as we get together, we're immediately laughing. That's our medicine. And that's actually my favorite scripture in the Bible is Proverbs 17, 22, laughter, a merry heart does good as medicine. Laughter does good as medicine. When's the last time you took your medicine? When is the last time you got your seven minutes of medicine? And it doesn't have to be anything that is particularly 
of substance. I'm talking about find the silliest, most irrational thing within reason. Don't not something that's obviously completely disrespectful. But when it's something that it, it this just don't make sense. It's so stupid that I'm cracking up laughing, and I'm I'm I'm, I'm the person when I laugh I cry. When I laugh, I cry. And it's a lot of times people be like, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm, I had a good old laugh over here. My stomach muscles, I done got a workout. I got a two pack that's about to come in. That's, I'm great. <laughs> I'm, I'm great over here. Are you getting your laughs in? Are you taking your medicine? Cause laughter is good for your heart, for your soul, for your body, for your mind release those good hormones release the um oxytocin and the dopamines let that radiate throughout your body send that feel good all throughout your system when is the last time i think i really want people to take inventory of that and laughing is so to smile it takes less muscles in your body in your face to smile than it does to look pissed off or upset it really does it really does so if i if i could serve anything if i could impart anything if i could give the world anything and by far i'm not a comedian i'm not i'm not gonna stand up here and tell you i'm gonna get on stage and i'm gonna give you a set i don't have it like that but if I could offer anything to anybody, it would be the gift of laughter. It would be joy. We got to find it. We got to find it, man. What do you like to do? What, what, what soothes you? What legally soothes you? What makes your heart smile? Not only your face smile, but what makes your heart smile? What makes you get that feeling of warm and fuzzy all over that sense of nostalgia when you do something like what is it find out who you are and what it is that you enjoy and what it is that you like to do so we can get back to joy because it's so much chaos going on in the world and my god i don't know if it's gonna it's i don't know if it's gonna let up anytime soon so what can you do to work on your environment so we not angry all the time so we not stressing out all the time so we not on 10 all the time are you sick of fighting are you sick of being 10 on being on 10 all the time are we sick of that i my heart goes out to people i see people be on 10 all the time and i'm like ooh, baby girl bro sweetheart sugarfoot i know you tired sugarfoot i know you tired you don't have to fight every day you don't let your body rest let your soul rest and when you looking for that complete sweet rest and that sweet peace i need you to get connected with god because he's the ultimate source of sweet peace and sweet rest and joy unspeakable joy unlimited joy unlimited love unlimited he'll never run out he don't never run out but i need you to be aware and know that it's time to chill out it's time to it's trying it's time to chill out it's time to slow down it's time to check in because you can't keep operating like this you cannot keep operating like this and i speak about that in my book if you haven't read my book check out my book it's available on amazon it's called reaction of grace journey through my butterfly exodus by me the author kimberly a d dine rhymes with divine you can also go to purechemistry.com it's available on my website. If you purchase from my website, you will receive a signed copy. And I'm working on some new things, actually. I think I'm going to do a bundle. I think I'm going to do a bundle um, 
purechemistry.com pure chemistry is my company i own um a candle company and i'm thinking about doing a book and candle bundle i'm thinking about that um so if you catch this if you catch this audio you catch this episode and you think that might be something interesting wherever i post this if i post this somewhere where you can comment let me know in the comments if you think that that is a good idea or if that's something you would be interested in um but i've been really thinking about that lately um and i think i'm gonna move forward with that but i discussed this in my book that i got to a point where i was tapped out i was tapped out i was at the end of me and my only other option was to i'm just gonna be a jerk i'm gonna be a butthole of everybody because ain't nobody ain't nobody checking for me ain't nobody caring about what's going on with me i felt isolated i felt like an outcast nobody would listen to what i had to say and i just became angry and so i said well i'm angry i'm gonna show people how angry i am i don't care what what you got going on with your life period i don't care because i don't spend all these years caring about everybody else and nobody bothered to stop and give me 15 minutes of their time to make it seem like they cared about me. I discussed this in my book. And then it got to a point where it was like, it's not even in my nature to be angry, to be angry, to be a butthole of nobody, to not care. It's not in my nature. And it, it took over to the, I did not feel like myself. It was, it was a short lived it was a short-lived run of that i couldn't do it i could not do it i'm like wow this wow kim you tripping you can't do this you bugging you don't do this and this does not feel good within yourself and your body you gotta you gotta get rid of this and it got to a point where i talk about this story but it got to a point where i got pushed far enough to where people weren't listening to me and i had to go to therapy i had to go to therapy i broke down it started crying and i could not explain why i know i know this day i know why but back then i did not know why i was crying but i had enough i had enough i had enough of holding on to everything that had been going on with me everything that had happened to me i had enough and i had to figure out a remedy to to help to so i could feel free and what was my remedy I had to go to therapy and during my time of going to therapy i was i was i was so nervous at first but after when i continued to go back i was so excited to be back in that office in that chair talking to my therapist and releasing no judgment and i got feedback And she genuinely cared about what was going on with me and my mental. I don't care if I paid her or not. She cared about what was going on with me and my mental. And I have been a changed person ever since. And because I had I had the breakdown of I can't do this anymore. I'm coming to the end of me. That is when God was like, bet let me go pick up my daughter because she can't she she realized she can't do this by herself no more she need me my girl needs me let me show up for her and it's been the best decision of going to therapy and really forming a relationship with god yo priceless priceless and me and god have been rocking for real for real ever since and I, I I would not go back. I don't care. I would not go back. I can't afford to go back. I will not go back to that. No alternatives. Nothing in the way. Nothing extra. Just me. My God and my therapist. I didn't have to pick up a rock. I didn't have to burn no leaves. I didn't have to smoke nothing. I didn't have to drink nothing. I didn't have to inject anything. I didn't have to wear a specific style of clothing. I didn't have to wear a specific color. I didn't have to do all of the things that a lot of people are doing. I didn't have to do any of that. God was like, look, I want you as you are. 
you rock with me, I'm rocking with you. Because I love you that much. This relationship has already been paid for. So will you accept it? It's free. All you got to do is tell me yes. And ever since I said yes. Yo. I've been free, man. I have been free. And if there's any any time or any moment where something try to roll up on me. Nope. Let me go to my God. Let me go to my father in heaven. Abra, hey, look here. It's me, your girl, your favorite, right? Because I'm, I'm God's favorite. I don't care what nobody say. Fight me. It's me, God, your girl, your favorite, your daughter. Listen, um, this ain't right. This is what I'm feeling today. I don't like this. I'm feeling like I don't like this person. This person getting on my nerves. I can't take this at work. I can't do this. I can't do that. They asking for this and this and that. This is what's going on with me. I need you to handle this. I need you to take over. I need you to take these burdens because I ain't got it. Get somebody else to do it because it ain't me. It ain't Kim. It ain't your girl. You got to get somebody else to do it. It ain't me. I unsubscribe to this mess. And I need you to come on and subscribe and return to send I'm sending this to you because I can't do this. You got to help me. And almost, I guarantee you, just about every single time, I'm like, yo, God, I, I can't, I can't, I got to get it to you. And I give it to him and I real deal give it to him and let go. Bruh, man, yo, listen, listen. And sometimes it, it's harder to let go of some things. And you be in your feelings. It's some days I be in my feelings. And I'm like, all right, listen, God, look, I, you know me. I'm your girl. I'm <laughs> the joy of the Lord is my strength. That's my super my superpower. Right. So it's been 24 hours. I don't like feeling like this. So I'm surrendering this to you and I'm going to try my hardest to let go. I want you to know I'm trying to relinquish this. Please help me and give me supernatural strength because I can't do it. But I don't want to feel like this. I don't want to be angry. I don't want to sit and live in my I, and live in my trauma. I don't want to operate from a place of my trauma. I don't want to do that. It doesn't make sense to do that. And when you start taking inventory of how you really feel and actually feeling your feelings and work through those and allow your heart to open up and spill out so he can come in and clean all that mess up and get you right and mend you up. Yo. And I didn't have to do, I didn't have to pick up a rock. I didn't have to burn a piece of grass to cleanse myself. I don't have to take a special bath with feathers and petals. I, I don't have to, I didn't have to do none of that. None of that. None of that. All I had to do was had a conversation with my God, with my heavenly father. And he loves me through every single time. Even when stuff don't make sense, yo, this don't make sense. I don't even know why I'm doing this, but I said yes, but I know you're going to love me through it and you're going to see me through it. So I ain't got no choice but to keep going. Unlimited amount of love, unlimited amount of favor, unlimited grace, unlimited joy, unlimited The things will only get you so far, but God already know where you going. You don't even know, you don't even have to know where you going, but God know where you going. But you gotta be willing. You gotta be willing to stop and take inventory, slow down and check in and see what's going on with yourself. If you need to go to therapy, go to therapy. Pray and go to therapy. It's not just one or the other, do both. And when you tried everything else, try God again. And I'm going to tell you, I was struggling so bad one time. I, <laughs> this is how you could tell that God was like, nah, sis, I need you to sit down because I ain't even going to let you do that to yourself. So I was starting to get hip on to 
Um, I was trying to see what this burning sage thing was about. <laughs> I can't believe I did this. I was trying to see what this burning sage thing was about. And I was like, oh, so we just go to the grocery store and we get sage and, you know, we burn it, right? And I had the nerve to tell my sister, I was like, yo, listen, I'm gonna go, go to the organic session, uh, section of Kroger and get sage because if it's organic that means they gotta it gotta have an extra sense of potency because it's organic bro it don't it don't have no chemicals in it so we gotta be good right <laughs> yo i don't know what i was thinking i don't know what i was but that's how that's how i was like yo something gotta change where is the switch up I legit went to Kroger and got organic sage and was trying to burn that joint in my house. What am I doing? I'm seasoning. Am I am I offering seasoning? Am I seasoning the spirits? Is that what I'm doing? Because sage ain't going to do nothing. Sage ain't going to do nothing. I wasted my money. I wasted my money. <laughs> I could have bought something else. I could have bought cilantro for my tacos that day. I, but I bought sage. Listen, I ain't doing nothing but saging and offering, offering seasoning up to the walls in our room, in our house. Dumb. I was dumb. But God gave me grace. And he said, come on back over here. Don't you do that again. I couldn't get I could I could not get into anything deeper than that. That was my my one instance and I was like, "Eh, I'm good on that." That did, didn't make sense to me while I was doing it. And I was praying while I was doing it in the name of Jesus. <laughs> in the name of Jesus, God, clean this up. Listen. It's, oh, we've come a long way since then. But again, God gave me grace. He knew what was going to happen. He knew what I was going to do and he scooped me up before I can get further into doing stuff that don't make sense. Um, and he was just like, just try me, just try me, fully try me. And so that's what I wanna offer. You tried everything else. You tried to rock, you tried saging. I'm not judging, cause I tried it too. Um, whatever, whatever you've tried, you've tried religion. I would like to offer you Try relationship and try relationship with God and give him a chance and see, see how he going to do you. He ain't going to leave you high and dry. He actually going to offer you way more than anything could ever offer you. you just got to be willing. So slow down, take inventory, check in with yourself. Cause we can't operate from a state of trauma anymore. It's time to it's tr it's time to address these things so we can go out here and live and be instead of do stress and do and fight and do. I'm trying to be. I am trying to be. And as I'm trying to be, I'm gonna keep giving God my yes because He found me in a place where I was like, forget everybody, and I know that's not me. And I went from being a shy, quiet introvert to, listen, y'all gonna see me. I'm out here buying glitter outfits. Listen, listen, don't say nothing to me when you see me out here in a glitter outfit. Cause listen, I worked hard and God has done a work in me to be out here in this glitter. So y'all gonna see this glitter. Y'all gonna know I was here. Y'all gonna know Kim was here. The Joy Chemist was here in all this glitter get in get to get into all this glitter take it in okay take it in <laughs> but that's what god can do for you he can change your life around and i know it's a lot of my family and a lot of my friends shocked because they like well dang kim didn't used to be like this where she come from when she start talking when did she write a book when did she when did she when did she just know that god didn't uh flip my life around for me he didn't flip my life and he not only did it for me, but he did it for his glory. So he can show people, you rock with me, this is what could happen to your life. So no, when you do see me out here in glitter, no, I've been yielding. 
and submitting myself to God. Because if it was up to me, I wouldn't be doing half the things that I'm doing. But because, because God wants to use me and I'm, I'm being a yielded vessel, it comes with the territory. So take inventory and yield. That's it. That's it. All right, so I got to get out of here. Listen, I love y'all. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Follow me on um, and YouTube as well. Follow me at Pure Chemistry, P-U-R-E-K-I-M-I-S-T-R-Y. That is on Instagram and, oh no, that's on all of them. Lord Hembers, that's on all of them. You can also follow me by going to www.purechemistry.com. Buy a candle when they get up. I don't know if you catch my episode previously, I said God is building my business backwards. So my personal branded candles are coming when God releases me to put them out, but I'm coming. Um, look out for events, look out for speaking events, um, a book tour, you know, whatever God has me do, I'm gonna do it. But in the meantime, purchase my book, purchase my book. You can get it off Amazon, search Reaction of Grace, it will be a lovely picture of um, it'll look like the sky and I'll have butterflies on the front. Um, you can also get my book off of purechemistry.com. Hit up the shop section. You will find my book there. And again, let me know in the comments. Like I said, I'm going to be working on some uh, book and candle bundles. Let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. I like to gauge, gauge the people, see what the people like. All right, y'all, I got to get up out of here until next time. Take inventory. Make sure you good. Because I want to make sure you good. So we can go out here and be. And live life. And enjoy it. I love y'all so, so much. Y'all have a good day. Bye.